Johnson County this afternoon, a 45 year old volunteer firefighter who died in the line of duty is being laid to rest this afternoon. Funeral services for the 45 year old father of three are being held today. CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith joins us live in Kenley with more. And, and Carly, they really have uh, put everything out for this guy today. A lot of loss they're feeling. Absolutely, Russ. I'm going to step out of the way because the fire truck, uh, a Kinley Fire Department fire truck that is carrying John Davis's casket is just behind us now. They are going to start the procession to the burial site and they will also be driving by the Kinley Fire Department on their way there. They will be passing under an American flag. Now, again, the procession is just starting. The funeral service wrapped up about 15 minutes ago. And here we're watching uh, John Davis's casket on a Kinley fire, de fire Department truck pass us by. Now, on this dreary day, the whole community seems to be at a standstill to honor Davis for all the things he did to help others and ultimately giving his life to do so. And because of his dedication, the Kinley Fire Department is joined by more than 35 other departments from across North Carolina. Now, they are all here to pay their respects to Davis and what he represents and honor him for his commitment to service. Now, Kinley Assistant Fire Chief Tim Little says it is truly a brotherhood. When something happens to one of us and it's this degree, it happens to all of us. And we mourn that loss because every day that we answer calls, we know what others are doing just like we are. And, and the risk they put themselves at every day. Davis will be transported again on that Kinley fire truck to his burial site and also will be escorted by this procession of dozens of fire trucks here today. And Life Flight will also be doing a flyover to honor, honor Davis and thank his family for everything that they have given. For now, live in Kinley, Carla Griffith, CBS North Carolina.